Okay guys, what's up? What's going on? Iceman on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. I'm going to make this video sort of short. I'm not going to go into much detail, but you know, a lot of people have been asking me, did I see TNA Lockdown? Yes, I watched it live last Sunday night, and I really haven't had a chance to really talk about it, because uh, I've been very, 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 very busy. But um, I will say this. It's our first pay-per-view since Bound for Glory. Um, for a company that it does not have too many major stars, for a company that has a very small roster, um, for a company that is like totally turned themselves upside down, inside out, I will say this. Watching Lockdown was one of the best pay-per-views I've seen in any promotion, in any promotion in probably the last 10 months easily easily um you you know you may not like you know the outcomes or what went what went on uh, a lot of people were very upset about the Samoa Joe and Magnus match you know you know I was a little disappointed but I also did know that Magnus was not going to win on his own I knew something was going to happen I was very surprised that Abyss came through you know the the bottom of the, the ring but in any event I thought the paper pay-per-view was absolutely awesome I thought it was great um, and I'll be honest with you I mean the uh, lethal lockdown match with MVP and all them and Jeff Hardy not being able to come in and he actually came in as Willow um, I told a lot of people that Bobby Roode was not gonna win uh, it was really sort of I wouldn't say it was predictable that Aries helped, you know, Rude get to the point where he was, but MVP sticking around, and I like the fact that he's sticking around. I think he can add a lot to to TNA, and uh, I really enjoyed Lockdown. Now, on that note, I didn't get to see Impact last night because I was working late, but um, I will, you know, get the opportunity to watch it at some point this weekend because I had the weekend off, but, um, you know, people were commenting on me because I didn't make any, uh, you know, videos or anything about lockdown. I did see it, you know, again, I thought it was a phenomenal pay-per-view. It was one of the best I've seen in, in many, many months. And that includes the WWE. Um, I think TNA outdid themselves with this for, you know what they had for a roster I think the Japanese stars were superb uh, the great just seeing the great Muda was sort of cool so I saw him like 25 years ago um, Bobby Lashley coming back and now we're gonna see Angelina love come back again I mean it I was ecstatic that's all I can tell you so um, there you have it I just wanted to put this video out there because a lot of people were asking me you know, if I saw a lockdown, and uh, yeah, I did, and and I'll I'll say this too: it lasted two hours and fifty-five minutes, five minutes to eleven Eastern time, and every bit of the show, if you paid for it, was damn well worth it, because in my eyes, they put on a great job. Now, with that being said, let's hope they continue to do so. What they need to do is stop all these five, six weeks taping ahead of time so people can't read spoilers. And then when a pay-per-view comes up, you know, sometimes you don't really know what's going on. So, peace out, everybody. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Um, hopefully, the Iceman will be back um, steadily sometime soon. I'm just not really not sure. So, we'll see you next time.